Recently, I've made a personal commitment to totally stop using Wikipedia for anything anymore. And that has been a long time coming. Uh, I, I think when I first knew about Wikipedia, I thought it, back in high school, back like, I don't know, 10 years ago, I thought it was a really cool idea. I thought uh, it was very surprising that it did as well as it did. Um, but now the time has come that Wikipedia, I don't trust it for anything anymore. And in fact, a lot of times when I read something on Wikipedia, I sort of assume the opposite. It's so bad. It's gotten to the point where I trust Wikipedia in, to the same degree I trust the mainstream media. And in fact, there's reason to think that Wikipedia is just a repository of the mainstream media. I want to I want to talk about why. Now, first off, I'm going to put a link to it in the description. Uh, two weeks ago, there was a one of the co-founders of Wikipedia actually put out an article on his blog or something like that, and it's something like, you know, Wikipedia is uh, beyond repair or Wikipedia is badly biased or something like that. And I think it it talks about some of the things that anyone who is has a pulse or I guess as an adult, is sort of aware of current events and reads Wikipedia, realizes really quickly. And that as Wikipedia has, uh, you know, it doesn't, I mean, it pretends to have a neutral point of view. It says everything it wants you to think as if it's a fact. Um, but Wikipedia now more than ever has been totally devoid of a neutral point of view. Uh, on any controversial issue, Wikipedia will state what it I mean, it won't say, this is what we want you to believe. It'll just talk about things as if they are true, even if they're not, even if they're highly controversial. Um, now, he talks about some political issues in particular, compare some articles, but here's, here's my issue, okay? Wikipedia nowadays, uh, actually in a live stream I did a couple days ago, we talked about the, uh, I forgot the name of it, someone reminded me, it's the Murray Gell-Mann effect, okay? What is the Murray Gell-Mann effect? You need to understand this if you need to understand you know, if you want to understand the media or something like that. The Murray Gell-Mann effect is, you know, let's say you know about a topic. Let's say you're a mathematician, you're a physicist, you're a biologist, I don't know. Uh, and you read an article in the news media about, you know, biology or something you know about. What inevitably happens 100% of the time is that journalist that wrote that article and that publication that published that article, they don't know anything about any specialized topic or really anything. If you know about this topic and you read a news article about it, you will be cringing. You will, you know, you'll realize this journalist has totally uh, understood issues backwards. They get basic terms wrong. They extrapolate from little tiny things. And they really, you know, they, journalists, use specialized information as just sort of a playground for their own biases, for them to make up their own things and sell it off to people. And if you're a, a specialized person in a field, you immediately realize this in a, an article on your field. But then the Murray Gell-Mann effect is this. You go from that specialized field that you know about, then you go to something else. Let's say uh, you read about Iran or Donald Trump or something like that. And then, if you, if you don't really know about that, you just accept, okay, well, I guess, I guess the journalist is accurately representing this thing. Uh, and that's the Murray Gell-Mann effect. It's the fact that, you know, everyone sort of realizes that the, the media is wrong about the things they know about, and then they read about other things, and they just sort of take, take it at faith, right? And the fact of the matter is that that's true with everything in the media. Now, why do I mention this? Why, do I men why are we talking about journalists in the media and with respect to Wikipedia? Well, Wikipedia is really just a repository of media biases nowadays. Um, now, the, the co in the article I, I linked, or really the, the co-founder of Wikipedia who wrote that article, he's been a critic because Wikipedia, uh, you know, it, it relies so much on journalists and it doesn't like uh, professional opinions. Uh, and I think at the same, so, you know, it sort of has a, a bias for midwits, right? It has a bias for people who don't really know that much about a topic. They, you know, write news articles and stuff like that. And it's suspicious of highly formal academic, uh, you know, distillations of information. But at the same time, he doesn't mention it, you know, it's, uh, Wikipedia is also biased against people on the low I mean, uh, well, I don't want to say low end of the spectrum like they're stupid or something like that. But I mean, Wikipedia doesn't like original research. It doesn't like original information. Um, just an example, for things on the internet, let's say, you know, there is a lot of newsworthy stuff that happens, you know, I hate to say it, but on Reddit. Uh, or on 4chan or something like this. There are a lot of sites where, you know, internet, I don't want to say memes, but I mean like events. You know, newsworthy events happen on, uh, you know, either social media sites or, uh, you know, forums like uh, 4chan or Reddit or something like that. And Wikipedia, the thing about Wikipedia is you can't just 
do quote unquote original research. You can't just say, here's a link to this Reddit thread where this person says this. What has to happen on Wikipedia is that you have to wait until the news media picks up on these internet events. You have to wait till the news media of, you know, basically filters the information in the way that they want. That's how it works on Wikipedia. So it's weird because on one level, like you don't have real world information because you're not allowed to have original, you know, you, you can't just do original research and put it, you know, put the direct links on Wikipedia. But at the same time, you, you know, they are sort of biased against professional opinions as well. So what does Wikipedia end up being? It ends up being a repository of the, the news media. They just put out stuff that is basically, you know, every Wikipedia article is basically just like a bunch of news articles put into one page. And you wouldn't, most people would not trust the news media for anything nowadays. So why would you trust Wikipedia? That's what it ends up being. And the only difference is this. The difference is a difference of tone. The news media, especially nowadays, you can thank Donald Trump for this, but there, you can thank other people as well. The news media barely pretends to have no point of, point of view. I think sometimes they will say, Oh yeah, we're 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 calling it, you know, down this we're just being objective blah blah blah. But everyone sort of understands if you turn on CNN, you are getting a propaganda channel. If you turn on Fox or MSNBC, you are getting nothing, literally nothing but propaganda. The they don't even care about the real world. The real world is just a playground for them to, you know, sort of squint their eyes at and and have their biases fill in everything. And then they report that to you with this, you know, totally flat tone. That's what the news media is. And what's happened is, you know, now Wikipedia, the only difference there is Wikipedia sort of cleans it up. It says, oh, well, well, you know, we, we want, oh, Anderson Cooper, when he, sa he says these things, he sounds, you know, he, like he's obviously perturbed. So we got to clean it up. We got to, you know, make it sound a little more, um, you know, well presentable and stuff like that. As if, I mean, this is the thing that's most annoying to me, actually. I will say this, because uh, you guys who watch my channel will know I'm the kind of guy, if I say same, something that's controversial or, um, you know, I know that a lot of people might disagree with, I'll usually say it as if it's a joke, okay? And, and that's not because I'm actually saying it as a joke, but I'll say, I'll say it in a way that says, okay, I'm saying this thing, I know it's controversial, and you're welcome, I know that people disagree with it, you're welcome to voice your disagreement. And that's the way that most people usually communicate. They understand, like, what is a common level of understanding. Like, we know that there are issues that are controversial, okay? Um, whereas the news media, and especially Wikipedia, has now taken it upon themselves to say, these issues, we are not going to say that you're allowed an opinion on them. We're not going to present uh, controversies and things. We are just, just going to state how, how, what we believe in like a totally face-saving way. This is the same kind of thing, you know, uh, the, the media, of course, since no one believes the media anymore, uh, the news media had to invent this thing called fact checkers. Now, what is a fact checker? It's just a journal. It's the same journalist that wrote the lies in the news news article. Now they're just writing lies that in like a more you know objective tone. But there's a difference between saying something objectively and I, like actually representing things well. And this the one of the biggest problems that I, I think a lot of people have psychologically is they can't distinguish between you know someone saying things you know as if it's fact and I'm just going to state my opinions and I mean if you you can think this but you're just simply wrong you just don't you just don't know what's going on people have a lot of problems distinguishing a flat tone that you know is really just a way of psychologically uh, you know I guess convincing people that you're just unbiased you don't have any emotions in the affair when in reality I mean you can just go on Twitter and see what journalists actually think about everything they're they're all nuts they're all crazy they're all deluded in weird ways um so anyway, Wikipedia, I don't trust it any more than I trust the media at all. And I don't think anyone else should. And I really want to stop using it, even for things that it might not be, by, like even for like raw uh, factual things that, um, you know, I, I wouldn't even think they'd be biased on. Sometimes, you know, the point of view just seeps in in ways you will never really understand. And the worst thing about Wikipedia is if you can go, you know, you can go to the talk page on any controversial topic or even topics that aren't controversial and you'll see that people who edit Wikipedia they know very well what they're doing they know very well that you know you can lie with the truth and you can tell the truth with lies and you can if you word a sentence in just the right way you can 
tell people things that are only truths, you can only tell them facts, but you can lead them into a lie. You can lead them to believe something that isn't, isn't true. And this is something that the media has perfected and Wikipedia has perfected. So what, what is the solution? I don't know what the solution to Wikipedia is. I am just not going to use it. Um, you know, you guys know that I'm a big proponent of a decentralized internet. I think that it's dangerous that Wikipedia has become, a, you know, a, 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 a site that people rely so much on. It's now integrated into other uh, websites and stuff like that. You know, Wikipedia with all its biases, of course, Google is going to use Wikipedia. It'll put Wikipedia pages in, you know, video descriptions that it doesn't like or stuff like that. Um, so, uh, you know, I definitely think that just in general, even if Wikipedia just disappeared and there's no replacement, I think that would be an improvement because we go back to the to the wild west of the internet where people had to actually go out and figure things out for themselves. And uh, you might say, oh, well, there might be a lot of untruths out there. And, but the fact of the matter is, you know, people have natural BS detectors. They are able to pick up on what's true and what isn't. They don't need the condescension of a journalist uh, or, you know, a Wikipedia editor, which in reality really just centralizes the biases. Now we have one flavor of opinion, which is the, you know, all journalists, I know they like to think they're different, but they're basically all the same person. Um, you know, you know, one flavor of opinion that who, whose biases, whose, whose oversights we are all liable to, you know, we, as if we all, you know, I want to be account, I want to be accountable to, you know, for what I believe, but I don't want to have to rely on what a journalist believes. I don't want to have to trust some stupid authority. If I get something wrong, I'll get it wrong. I mean, and I'll pay for that. I don't want society to be reliant on the biases on one particular person, including myself, but especially, especially a journalist, because I know journalists are morons. Everyone does. Like what? I don't know why this is controversial. Like, stop, I don't know, stop using these things. Stop, stop using Wikipedia. Don't even, whatever. It's time for another video. Uh, whatever, this didn't long enough. See you guys next time.